Yep. Back out. This time, cheeky one. Um, finished work about four o'clock. Just had my stuff ready, packed, and then just got gone like. Different sort of camp tonight. We're going up the forest track to start with. Oh, and it's off the lovely Josie Berries. Had it. Rowan tree, rowan berries. You can use them for jam and like chutneys and that, but I don't think they're very nice. These are cherry trees, but they're all finished. Elderberries. All know elderberry wine. Again, not much of a harvest, like. A bit rubbish. Anyway. It's a little walk in, about, uh, I think it's about two miles. Two miles to walk up this track. You go off road at the end of it. But it's not a hard walk. See big hills on out. So yeah, we'll see where this leads to. Might see some wildlife, you never know. Yeah, you can't eat them. Something's already been eaten. It deer's probably. Right. Well, I'm uh, I'm over halfway there. Just got a little bit of a sprint. On. It's not not bad. Hard to walk on. It's quite level. It's a couple of little old pedal bits. Better around the corners would be a bit of a slog uphill. There's the wind on, folks. Hopefully, where I'm going. It won't matter if it's windy, depends which way it's blown. We shall see. Yeah, I've been coming here for years. Years and years and years I've been coming on this track. Camped here a few times, different parts. I'm trying to hope to see some deer. I once saw a deer in there. At night, maybe mate were out at night. I saw something like I had my head torch on, I seen eyes light up in there. Creepy when you see eyes. And I had a um, laser pointer, green laser pointer. Pointed it, pointed it straight in. Bloody right in its eyes, the deer. I felt awful. I felt really bad. And then I just ran away. No idea. So, walked for bloody miles. I was right up there at one point. Dropped down, picked up the path. Middle of nowhere. I'll just keep walking. Tricky these paths for tree roots. Hang on up here. Overhang. This looks like a good spot for a camp. Not there. No, oh, this this bit. Never. Somebody here. Oh, somebody in. No. Wouldn't have killed one. <laughs> it's Stig. Stig of the dump. <laughs> What's a crack? Where you where you been? Well. So you got up on the ridge. Funny story. Let Was me, that you on the ridge before? Let me tell you my story. <laughs> so this is the view from uh, tonight's accommodation. And there's tonight's accommodation. There's Marco Tompo. 
Boosh. Like, Peter Blue, it's on me. I know. We've got to come up in the morning like hunchbacks. <laughs> he's got. Uh, I used to be a prison gate to stand up, but I'm just putting his bed here. He's got McEwen's export. Lots of. Oh, you've got them Edinburgh Gin again. Look. Right. Carrie, we'll have to get them. And they sell me. Uh, I've had the, I've had the actual I, I, bottle I, I of it. I want to touch the export, I might have one can of it. You've got a wine as well. Christ. Not any wine for Drinking the gas at the end of the <laughs> night. I'm going to go and do some tranja fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some wood over there. We want to get a fire on. I'll show you about this wind coming in though. Uh, well, wee chairs. Well, wee chairs. A little chair there. Here's me, uh, me little hotel. Up kid, hunger. XL. XL. Bivy bag. It's a good job we got the XL, mate, because I've the young ones are a bit smaller. Uh, I, I don't think I'd cope well in a smaller one. It walks in a um, British Army one. DBM. Right, this is it. This is the com this is the accommodation for tonight. You made a right bloody mess already. Really? It's been here five minutes. DD tops on the bottom. Oh, I've got my top and my picnic blanket. <laughs> picnic blanket. Picnic blanket. Picnic blanket. There's also flies, food. Try and find my own curry on the other one. Uh, gotta have the, right. some beer then, ain't like. uh, Child in time. 7.4%. percent <laughs> New Island Munzies. Fruits so of Perception. 5.8%. They got one called Jungle, which is fitting because we're in the jungle. Flutting the jungle. That one is about is six percent. Six percent. Oh yeah, it is. I. This one's called Ass Down. Get your ass down. This one against the uh, against the Grain Brewery. Had a couple of them before, 8.2 percent. Like, sit right ass down and crush this beer. Well, I will be doing, yeah. Ooh. Double IP, that one. Oh, this one's called Moggy. Another errant. This is a session, so it's only uh, 4.8 percent. I'll have that one first. Start on that one. And this one here. This is a collab with Wylam. And whiplash, do you want to touch me? Double dry hopped, double IPA. I mean, that's gonna be evil. 8.3%. I'm not sure if I'll get through all them. Like, brought cracker logs. Let's see if we can get them on later without the wind coming. Brought steak and mushrooms. It's about it, really. Ugh. Got some bacon for the mother. Bacon. Yeah, try and see if some of them bread thin things. Have you got any bread thin things? Oh, I haven't brought anything like that, no. no. I had some last week as well, and I've bloody used them, do I? So this is... Just gone there, no more like a... A can of, um, what's it called? A coffee for breakfast. Aye. Uh, that seems a good idea. Aye, uh, we could do it. Like. Uh, another reason I didn't bring a dog, Andy, is because of the sheep. Oh, uh, yeah, he'd be over there, wouldn't he? After them. If this... this yeah, I'll have dreams tonight about this just falling on you. Squash you flat like, wouldn't it? Mm. You wouldn't know how to put it like. It's not happened yet, like so. It would I'd be trapped and there's a gap, there's like if I fell it'd be a gap then I'd be trapped. I would never get out. You'd have to feed us. Just push beer through the gap. Be alright. <laughs> I'd be fine. Survive. We don't need a work if he's a Waterproof, unless the rain tell you what comes in. I'll tell you what happened the first time, was, was it no, was the second time me and Sean came. It was a hot summer's day, we got here, the sun was still shining, the sun was just starting again doing. And Sean was in there, and I was like facing out, I was in there now, but I was facing out over. Yeah. And I heard what sounded like, you know, you, 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 you bang your head off there. Yeah. You would get like a thudding noise. In your head, I you mean, would. I thought it was Sean, I thought, I said, oh, all right. What do you mean? He says, you know, just bang your head. He says, no, no. I says, what was that noise? He says, don't know. Then about 10 minutes later, it did the same, you know what we think it is? We think these rocks expand when they heat up, and when they cool down they shrink. Aye. We think it's the rocks rubbing together. Alright. Nice to know. Glad it's cold. Alright. I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> there you go, folks. There's a wee tail. Tail from the Tompos. Unless there was somebody on top throwing rocks, didn't they? 
Oh, Mark's got uh, got chilies, chilies, chopped onions, got garlic, wild garlic. Yeah, is it wild garlic? I right struggle getting the bucket in the pan. All right. Struggling like hell, I. Wild garlic. Um, I think that's just spoiled your job, right? Yeah. Never mind. Mm. And I've got um, oh, I've got curry sauce. Curry sauce. What I got off Mark, me mate. Is Pop that the stuff you bought from uh, the lakes? That no, curry. no, not stuff. The stuff he buys in Newcastle. And what I've got there is from Aldi. It's um, chopped up, very thin steaks, which are only two and twenty-seven for a pack of four. So it's ideal for curries, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's beef curry, yeah? Beef, I'm having a bit of a beef madras. Beef madras. It's, it's a beef madras stroke vindaloo. Was that bit that's vindaloo sauce there? Yeah? And McEwen's export. McEwen's export. Well, I think it's I'm a proper be, I think I'll be sleeping in the next cave for long. <laughs> 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 I've got toilet roll for in the morning, but I need to oh, yeah. Too much info. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we're nice and shall I? Yeah, like, this is very, very cosy. Highly recommend cave camping. Well, Absolute it's 80s. It's like cavemen. I think it's here, you know? I'm pretty sure it is. Huh? Uh, it's really kind of people living in this one. It's only cave in North England. They had the right idea, didn't they? Oh, that radio is dead annoying, isn't it? That's it. Uh, Where's the... Uh, there's your onions, folks. There's your onions, sweating, doing so folks. Come back when it's a bit more codified. A bit more curry. I need a video. We're eating like kings here, like. There we go, folks. That's a thin little, beef thin little, the extra chilies, and uh, loads of garlic, wild garlic, and honey's got. For the steaks, mushrooms, garlic, butter. Yeah. Right. That's that's up to a menu tonight. Me dessert menu, right? But it's plenty of dessert. Hey, hey, hey! Just the taste of some sour mash beer, yeah. and I'm not sure what was made in it. Not one, I. No. Right, <laughs> uh, the quiet taste, like. See it cooking. Nearly done. Mushrooms are in. Where's the curry? A really, really spicy curry. It's nice though. Right. And then we're just sitting looking at this. Like, look at that. That's amazing. Look at that sky. It's a proper sunset, that. You can't see the sun, like, but you can see it's, uh, it's doing to the sky. Can I believe it? I'm definitely binning that BBC weather app. You know what it said? It would be heavy rain now and like windy as hell. Look at it. Never trust the weather app. <laughs> We're like hermits. <laughs> oh, don't hermits live alone though? <laughs> Of hermits. Are we creating history? We are really are. Like thousands of years ago. Aye. I think we should but carve some. Came, we should carve some uh, antelopes into the back of the wall there. Right. Very well. This is nearly ready. Starving. It was Mark's fault. He made us hungry. <laughs> so that's uh, um, that's tonight's little fire, which is making it very very cosy in here. It's a crackle log. Um, it's up on a big rock, so there's no trace of it in the morning. Just a little bit of ash, which will clear away. Good little things. I'm just chucking out some heat, mind. Yeah, I can feel the heat off that from over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can feel a little bit of heat off it. Can't really. I'm just making that up. And uh, there's one there, just sitting. I can't really feel any heat. Completely off. chilled out. I think it's um, what's it called? Psychological. Aye. Placebo. Placebo effect there. There's the moon. Can, can, I, can I pick the moon up? Aye, that will do. Don't blame it on the moon. But there's uh, a site of... If you're ever thinking about going to a cave camp and you want to chill out, just that's how to do it there. What I'm looking at there now. Gin tea. <laughs> He's got a gin and fire, tonic on. Fire on the left. <laughs> Christ. Hold on a minute. We I need some classical music on. We could just be in the house here, like. Can you remember that damn um, porridge when the kraut was a krauty? 
was the gangster, the villain. Grouty. And Grouty. And he mm -hmm. had it, um, his cell had like classical music yeah, and cigars and all that. Yeah. I've got any cigars that I don't smoke anymore. But that's that's, bit, that's bit probably the, 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 the stand of it. I think we should bring cigars from now on. No, I couldn't be doing a start and smoke again. I'm going to be down for that. Like. <laughs> right, so that's it. We'll leave you with that little view there. And then we're going to have a look at the moon. Because it's quite spectacular. Right, there's the moon. There's the moon. Are you zooming in? Aye. Uh, Pick the river to. Uh, it's not that sharp, like. I need a new camera. This zoom's it's not. Call, it's called a wax and juice. This camera's not much cop. No. No. When it's getting bigger, it's called waxing. When it's getting smaller, it's called waning. Aye. Uh, juice. It was waning before. Waning? Pissing down. <laughs> Folks, what's it number beer? I've made me a uh, bushcraft table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got the biggest fire in the world going. Got the moon on. Oh, the moon's on over there, folks. Mm -hmm. I've got to stick me time lapse out now for a night lapse. There's Mr. Mr. T. Ferguson. Whatever he's called. Drinking bloody. Baxter Ferguson's dad. Yeah, oh, anybody? Oh, I'm really new. Rhubarb and ginger. Anybody nice. wants to try that? Rhubarb and ginger, Edinburgh gin. Get the um, get the bottle from the shop. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, God, it's nice. dangerous because you can drink it and you can just gants down like bloody water. And we were like in this cave before. And we've seen some cave paintings, like. So is this with a mixer on you? Just... I think it's got a mixer in it, aye. I don't think so. Like, is a fish a fash? A fash. A heed. Is a heed. I think that was that must have been done after the um the kill the heed, you know. Mm. And is it I don't know if you can make that out. It's like a like a like a horned animal, isn't it? Uh, it's like a, a, a bison. Bison. A bison. A buffin. Mm. Proper cave paint, that though. That that must have been there for centuries thousands of years. Millions of years. Uh -huh. I don't know where that's come from, because it wasn't there before. But aye, uh, millions of years that must have been there. There's some nice fishes in the rocks there, like. Yeah, that big crack in the rock. Like a big crack there, that's, that's not looking uh, helpful, is it? Yeah, lad, I tell you, what we're doing. Sleeping in the cave, Sam. It's been here for thousands of years. This is my new hunker bivvy bag. Just bought this the other day. It was with Mark when I bought this, actually. Well, I mean, Carrie bought them. No, I was jealous of Oh. I assume he didn't have any money. He was wounded. Couldn't afford to buy it. Yeah, I haven't got any money now, if that's any consolation. Just <laughs> buying, buying bivvy bag. My time's just getting tough. Right. But you know, you know what they say, don't you? Live for today, you can't take it with you. 
This is the view from the back of the cave. Back out. Back off cave. Back of the cave. Spot on that, like. Oh, it's nice, like. I like it. It's warm in here as well, isn't it? It's not bad. It's, I think that log's putting in a bit of heat. It's coming in here. Yeah. The storm is going mad, eh? So, what we're going to do is now finish these beers, talk a bit more rubbish, and then. Sleeping bivvy bags? Uh, sleeping bivvy bags. Keep each other awake with snoring and farting. I'm just going to try and lie on your side. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you now, Annie, what me brother said to us. Oh, don't, Annie, don't, because I'm not going to take the clothes off because um, I'm frightened in case I get too cold. What do you mean to take your clothes off? I just want to get in the bag. Well, I'm going to be bag. That means I've got to take my clothes off. Right, right. shall I edit that bit out then? Ah, no, no, no. I'm not going to take them off, Annie. <laughs> but I don't want people to say that I'm getting my bag and my clothes off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, man. What, you got to hide, like? <laughs> got no to hide. You have. I I didn't want to. I didn't want people seeing. I'm getting to me fucking bag with clears on. Hey man, what? I did always swear. Language, Timothy. Oh, yeah, oh, that. Any belly there? Right. What I'm gonna do now, folks, is a demonstration. I hope you get your bag. Right. Yeah. Well, that's bag. it. All right. Let's see how professional wild campers get in the baby bags. You know what it is. You know what it is, right? You, you, you get on like a tart, and then you just get straight in the bag. Tell you what, knee bother. It's easy on the thumb. It's really easy. I mean, uh, oh, that's coming out. Hey, in. Oh, I am in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm cool. I'm not zipped up yet, mate. Because obviously I'm going to get backwards and take my clothes off. What are you going to get? Fun? What are you going to get? I'm going to get backwards. Backwards. <laughs> I'm going to get backwards and take my clothes off. Then I get back in. You're trying to be funny, like. And then <laughs> in the morning, I'm going to get backwards. But, uh... Oh, well, so that was it then. That was it. All that bloody build up, all that drama and tension. Uh -huh. And it was like so straightforward. Uh -huh. It was unbelievable. I'll, 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 where's my camera? I'll film me getting yours. Yeah. That'll be a lot. Because he's had export tonight. I know. Come here, Andy. Alright. I had a can of export. I went to the dark side. Went to the dark side. It was alright, actually. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, it was alright. See the McEwen's guy, remember him? Aye. The big Latin ca cavalier? Aye. Yeah, I remember him from the late 70s. Late 70s, aye. When Scotch was like 50 pence a pint. Aye. I'm sure I remember the first pint I bought was 16 pence. Yeah, it was probably something like that. 15 pence, I think we paid. I think. The first pint I bought in a pub was 16 pence. Fucking shot up after that. Good price. You're still filming us? Aye. No, you're sure really how old we are, aren't you? Yeah. Only, <laughs> what I'm saying. You know what it is? I think I'm sitting here agreeing with you. It's, it's not a bad thing, really. Is it? <laughs> I know. I'm going to buy a pint I know, for exactly. 16 pence. Maybe, mate. Don't we used to, kind of, we used to go down the town? Aye. Like the pub at. Um, you know? you know, remember the Waterloo? The pub, the Waterloo? Aye. Aye. We used to go down there, right? Have a game of pool. Or snooker or whatever. Like two or three games of pool. We had a few pints. Aye. Scotch. We used to drink scotch because it was dead cheap. Aye. That was the cheapest one, aye. And then we got to the chip shop in the Haymarket. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The Haymarket. Um, oh, I don't know how it's gone now. Honestly, I swear to God, we'd be, look, we'd, we'd be devastated if we spent a tenner. <laughs> we'd get home to how much we spent, we about seven pound. <laughs> seven quid! It was mad, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Different days, different days. Anyway, right, folks. Right, folks, that's, that's, that's him it. in that's his bag. That, that's me in your bag. I'm getting back because I want to put my jammers on that. And I, I didn't want you to film that, but you know, uh, I get a bit embarrassed. I'll get a secret camera gun. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get in my bag. I'm actually going to get me, um, I'm going to get a camera, you know, I've left the loot there. So, we'll bring you back later on, Ken. Oh, Ken. Okay. Sure, he's got Maltesers. Definitely got sweets. You got sweets, haven't you? That's sweets, oh, that. Oh, um, good stuff. Oh, get in. Sweets. Morning, campers. Oh, alrighty, hi. Nah. Nothing. So, walk up to this lovely view. His baby bags are good, like, aren't they? Look how cosy he is. Mm. I thought you can talk to him. I talk to him. I'm not just woke up, I didn't talk straight away. This is a different bit. I've just opened my eyes. So, I'll get hunker. Good. Tell you what, this, I haven't sweated on out in this thing. No, I've been a can. Considering I've got my trousers on. I think, I think we're saying people would be like, oh, you don't need bivvies in the cave, but it's to keep the draft off, isn't it? Right. It Definitely. Depends. If it had been one of them nights last night, I'd have been like low, low, like low cloud and mist yeah. and that. Aye. It would have been damp here. Yeah. But we were small. Aye, it's bone dry, aye, it's nice. Yeah, I'm bone dry, so 
but you can feel it when you get out, there is that little chill in the air. And when you get back in, it, goes, uh, it keeps the chill off like so, uh, right, it's good. Now we're going to... Um, get up, put the kettle on. Uh, get up, have a cup of tea, folks. And then put on the kettle and make some tea, it's all a part of feeling groovy. It's yeah. tight and relaxed, now you've worked your horse off. And the only one smiling is a suntan boss. Yeah. Who sang that? Only jam fans. Oh, I've just told everybody. Only <laughs> jam fans and no. <laughs> Paul, Paul Weller. Ah, it was, eh? Pack up your tea and collect your fags. That yeah, wasn't that one. See you around. Right. There's not really much more I can say about the cave. The cave drawing's still there. Done by um, early man. When I've done that cave drawing. Uh, early man. 200 million billion years ago. That's been there all that time. I think it's an uh, ox. It's. It's. Anybody knows where it is. It's a thing. It's a, a thing. Animal. Wait, it's a prehistoric creature. They're all dying out, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, what's them? Them animals? What's they got the call again? Animals, maybe. Animals. Cows. That's what my kids used to call animals when they were kids. Animals. 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 Uh, anyway, let's get the kettle on, folks. Uh, get yeah. the kettle on. Folks. Uh, breathe in. <coughs> Belly, belly's in. So you enjoy that? Oh, it's, oh, it's great. You sleep Fantastic. well. Oh, hi. Awesome. Like a log. I slept like a log. Literally. Next to the log, I actually slept next to the logs so like a log. <laughs> <laughs> so we've left no trace of us being here. Part of it, well, it's not even ours, it's that little kettle in the back there. We're just going to leave that there because it might belong to somebody who frequents here regularly. Right, there's your little kettle. who we'll left it for you. Tidied up, no mess. This is we had with a little log burning. Do the ash left. That's it. That's the that's the mark the log made. Let's see what's happened there, Andy. That, that, that's cracked there with the heat. Aye, that was, no, that was cracked oh, last night. Cracked. Aye, when well, I picked it up. So there you go. That's all it'll That's it, done. Cave camping is the future, mind. Right. Well, Especially if I sleep that well. I just worry about falling as well. I'm only going to put one of the rocks flaking off, you know, the ceiling. Not so much the whole lot coming out. Delaminating. Delaminating, aye. Could happen, like. But well, because. It's up there. Them rocks there fell off. Because it's been here like tens of millions of years. That rock over there fell off. Ah, it's just been tens of millions of years again. That's not recent. Yeah, it wasn't just like last year. Might be. Somebody's left the fag packet under there, look. Can you believe? Put some bread out for the birds. And that's us, we're off. We're going to make our way home around the corner here, not up the hill. It's only a couple of miles. Not right up the top of the hill. <laughs> I only did a bit of exploratory last night, didn't you? Uh, we'll get extra, extra steps in. <laughs> Your heart rate up. <laughs> cardio. Nice. <laughs> Right, so unless there's anything interesting, that'll be it. We'll see you on the next one. Hoary ho. Hi. Mm -hmm. You're going to say something? <laughs>